Pandora is a character in this this film, in this in this game. Uh, Pandora, there's always a spin. It's never the obvious thing. It may look obvious at first, but there's always a torque to it. One of the very exciting things that, that Jim has given us is the world of Pandora. The movie only can explore such a small sliver of this very exciting world. In my mind, it's almost as if Pandora exists somewhere and you can go there, because we've, we've willed it into that level of existence. The ecosystem that, that exists on, you know, on Pandora is, people will understand it. They'll, they'll, it's, it's similar enough to what we know about the life around us on Earth, but it will be alien. Pandora is beautiful and deadly. When you first are introduced, the deadly part is what you see. As you go deeper, the beauty starts to unfold. And you realize that it's, it's really paradise. It's really the Garden of Eden. At nighttime, Pandora becomes a gorgeous landscape of glowing flora and fauna. It's this element of bioluminescence that kind of lights up the world, like lifting a filter off of what you see in the daytime. And this whole other level of color and beauty just pierces through. The humans are interested in Pandora because it, it has something that they want. So they come there, to, unfortunately, to pillage it. We land on Pandora at a time when the Navi and the humans are in conflict with each other. The Navis are living on Pandora. They are trying to defend their own territory. That's why there is a huge battle. When you are in this planet as a human, you're a kind of a virus because you're here and you, you are breaking the balance of the world. But as a Navi, it's the paradise, you know. They are living in perfect balance with the world. When you wander the, uh, the jungle, suddenly everything isn't against you. The Navi path is much more organic. It's more in harmony with the world. Navis can connect to every creature on Pandora. And when they connect to a creature, they basically become one with it. There's a, a permission that's granted. There's a, a dialogue between creature and Navi. You know, you could ride around on a dire horse. We can ride around on banshees, which are kind of like pterodactyl-like, but they're totally unlike anything you've ever seen. One of my favorite uh, creatures in the world is the hammerhead. It's a mix between, I'd say, a rhinoceros and, a, and an elephant. It's like a bull in a china shop. You get something that's sort of like this. It's kind of like that. It's pretty scary. I mean, I'm scary, but... Pandora is also the uber cool world with lots of great monsters, alien creatures, and they have this kind of reality. What's great about Pandora is you just don't know where the threats are gonna come from. The whole place is like a danger zone. You can play the game as an RDA trooper, or you can play the game as an avatar. You have two choices. So there are no good guys and bad guys. Maybe there's the possibility that you're gonna see things differently.